So when it comes to trick, it's not just music, or it's not just about doing music. You yeah. also have a, a, a club. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us about how how that works? Mm. Yeah. So the Matic Music Club is a club that I formed after I came back from a short course I took in Spain. Um, what the course does is to teach to 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 teach students all students in music mm -hmm. um, all the other ways they can also teach or impact the environment. So currently, um, I have mates of mine who were in the same course who are in Afghanistan who are helping children recover from the shock, the, the shock of the war mm -hmm. through music. So they're teaching them to play instruments, they're teaching them because, um, you know, by research, mu music is proven to be one thing that helps the brain to relax. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, you know, clinically is also being proven. So that's what we do at the club. So what we do is to teach them how to play instruments, not necessarily to become musicians, mm -hmm. but um, to open their mind to so many other things. Uh, there are even people who don't remember things, but unless you use rhythm. So some of these kids who forget things easily, we teach them. Sometimes we teach them timing, we teach them melodies, we teach them rhythm. Um, not really for you to become a professional. But for you to be able to learn your math and for you to be able to, um, you know, create songs like, you know, some African countries, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. Baba, those things mm -hmm. just remind you of the capital cities we have mm -hmm. in Accra, and, you know. And also for the kids to see the importance of music so they become professional if they want to. Mm -hmm. Because music is a profession, it's mm -hmm. not a job. You know, a job is something that pays you and then that's it. But it's a profession, it demands training, you know. So we want, because... I can't go to GES and say, bring music back mm -hmm. to the curriculum. So we're trying to make it an extra curriculum activity for, for some time. And then we're hoping, um, I'm in talks with the National Folklore Board. Mm -hmm. The Folklore Board currently, they are doing well. So they are looking at, they've partnered actually with us, where we can also teach the kids the folklores we have in Ghana. Um, people have forgotten history. Kids have forgotten history. And I was surprised that one of the exercises we did with the kids and I told them, bring back names of old musicians and come and give us a brief story about them. And it was a disaster, <laughs> you know. But we had to teach them and they went and brought back the Ebo Taylor. Some of them brought huge names. I said, do you know these people? <laughs> so what we are also doing is um, using visual. You know, there are times where we play them visuals to see, okay, this is this person, this is high life, this is, this is Bobobo. This is Agbaja, this is the Fonton from drum, this is the Kidi drum, this is a Seprewa, mm -hmm. you know, so those things, we teach them all those things so that they are, they are in tune with themselves and where they're from. Um, I also bring some of the celebrity friends I have to come and talk to them, not about music, but about life, mm -hmm. about how to come out, how to be able to be outspoken. Mm -hmm. So in my club, we clap for everybody. Mm -hmm. We do not... We do not laugh when somebody gets it wrong. Mm -hmm. We clap. We make sure you're happy in that space, you know. So that's what I'm doing with the club. And and, and I'm proud to say that as now a local host for international universities mm -hmm. to come and volunteer and help. We're hoping to have expansion programs to be in public schools. Unfortunately, the public schools are shunning away from it. Mm -hmm. And it's rather the private schools who are welcoming the idea. But let, let, let's see what happens in the next few years. All right, so you are celebrating 10 years in music. Yeah. Um, what should you expect in this year? Uh, this year, yes, the album is coming in June, another album. This will be my fourth album. Uh, it can't be 10 years without an album, <laughs> mm -hmm. most definitely. Visuals, a lot of thought-provoking visuals for my songs. Um, we're currently shooting uh, My Life, the remix. And some of the shots are amazing. What kind of remix is it? Is it like with different artists, all star? Yes, it's so, an all star. So the audio is not out yet. The right? audio is out. Oh, I the haven't heard it yet. Oh, the audio is out. So who is on it? Is Walasi is on it? Okay. AI is on it. Manifest okay. is on it. So it's Manifest, Walasi, AI, and myself. And the remix actually was the opening for this concert. Like mm -hmm. it's it's like that's what you know woke us up. Like you know why don't we do a concert and and we're calling it my life concert. So, yeah, I mean, that album is coming. Mm -hmm. The Matic Music Club um, is also hosting a lot of students from the diaspora. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have 18, 20 students coming in in March. We have a professor coming in from the States again in June. And then um, we also, I'm also doing other expansion uh, projects. Farming 
Mm -hmm. uh, this year, we're, we're, we're trying to start the campaign, um, Grow Ghana, Eat Ghana. We started two years ago, mm -hmm. but people didn't get it. But now, um, they, are, they are going to get it. Start the, we just have a stellar rice. Right? We're drying currently before we take it to the mill. Um, we, there's going to be a lot of dialogue um, programs. There's going to be a lot of um, live performances. Mm -hmm. Um, in the past three years, actually, I've been performing all around, mm -hmm. but they are not the regular mm -hmm. uh, shows that people see me on. So this is a time where I'm bringing it to that crowd. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for two, three, three, I'm sure they're tired of me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the banquet halls. Mm -hmm. um, I can boldly say almost every president that has been on in the past, from, from when we started voting, mm -hmm. I've performed for, and um, I'm humbled. To, to be that. I mean, the last time I performed for um, the current president was at the Swag Awards mm -hmm. where I did the national anthem. So it's been, um, yeah, this year a lot of, uh, and a lot of festivals. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been to quite a number already in the past, but like, uh, like I said, a lot of publicity hasn't gone in there. We're trying to see how we we'll work on the PR this mm -hmm. year. Um, yes, we're going back to collaboration. We've done it for three years nonstop. We're going back again this year. We're hoping to get on Massa in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, yes, I, we're working on that. There's another festival in Tanzania that I was invited to last year, but I couldn't make it because of radio job. And uh, yeah, so this year, we're set for the year. Does rice grow better when it listens to music? <laughs> <laughs> rice! <laughs> Maybe because actually, um, sound is used to drive away the birds on the farm. Mm -hmm. You know, Charlie, the birds are killing <laughs> us. I'm telling you, you can grow like a 30 acre land, and by the time you harvest, you just have maybe maybe 20 bags or, mm -hmm. or 15 bags. But what I'm trying to get into fruits, um, now, yeah, fruits also, and see how it goes. Yeah, but I have partners that I, I farm with. Uh, last year, we did some work with the FAO, we're hoping that this year. Um, we can do more. So uh, there you have it. Uh, fun, educative uh, interaction with uh, the man Trigmatic. Those of you who know he has a farm, but now mm -hmm. you, you do. Questions for the rice. When it comes out, under what name will it be? Uh, <laughs> we are just supplying to people. We, yeah, we, the locals buy it a lot, but we, we, we were looking at packaging. So Kent Farms is like the bigger body mm -hmm. that I worked with. We were, they were, we were partners, we were about four. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a, a rice brand called uh, Uncle Yao. Uncle, yeah, so uh, we are beating Uncle Sam. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. But um, we brought the sample out for people to test and also give us feedback on the name, the brand name. They love the branding, mm -hmm. but they're saying let's make it all fire out. So it might just <laughs> yeah. it might just go back to, to be, you know, all fire out. out. Yeah, interesting. You know, so, so. it's been fantastic having Thank you, you. Uh, Thank you, man of great intellect, and as you can see, uh, someone to uh, inspire the youth uh, generally. Uh, thanks for coming, and we wish you all the best as you celebrate 10 years in music thank and even you. beyond. Thank uh, you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I must say, uh, you've done a lot for the industry as well. I remember one of my first ever live performances, you were there. And after that, you you did a little write-up on it. I think it was uh, Loud in GH, the first Loud in GH. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I was doing live mm -hmm. for that crowd, and, and, and you were there, you know, and uh, you've done a lot. And I, you sure. know, thank you so much as well and thank you <laughs> ML TV for the, 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 the opportunity.